Okay, hello to everyone. Thank you so much for your time and for having this interview with us. Maybe I will introduce myself first in the beginning. Uh, my name is Dorina Beck. I am the student assistant of Mrs. Hummel here at the Department of Psychology, and I'm studying psychology as well in my eighth semester of my bachelor thesis. You are both students from the University of Utrecht, one of our partner Erasmus universities. You had like kind of a little stay with us from the 19th until the 22nd of April this year. Would you be so kind to introduce yourself first? Yes, of course. My name is Maran. Uh, I'm a psychology student as well at the University of Utrecht. Mm, I've lived here for about two years. I'm Julian, also a psychology student in the second year. I also live in Utrecht now two years. Was it your first kind of exchange going to another city like with another university or have you been like to another university or like stayed a semester abroad or something? Not yet, no. I'm planning to mm -hmm. next year but I haven't done it yet. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's usually something people do in the third year and ah, okay. we came with all second years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> and can I ask how many of you students stayed here? Uh, I think 30. Oh, 30. Ah, yeah. oh, that's great. We do uh, this program. It's called like the honors program. Mm -hmm. And it means you have to do like some extra courses um, in every year of your study. And a part of that is also like the an exchange part. So uh, every year there's a trip to a different university and we're, we're in the planning community com committee for that trip um so we had to pick a university to partner with but this was in kind of like more of the middle of the corona crisis so we had <laughs> limited options and we also had to, to pick a university that the university of utrecht has a partnership with already so we just emailed a whole lot of universities that like seemed like fun. And I think we also had a contact at the University of Constance. So that's why the, yeah, the communication went very well. That's mm -hmm. why we chose Constance and also oh, because nice. of the beautiful location. <laughs> Did you have a contact to another student or one of our teachers or somebody uh, from the staff? I think with Serval from the start. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, a teacher who has lived there um in Constance like a few years ago she was also the contact for the, the group that came to Constance I think mm -hmm. three years ago that's our way in I guess could you go a little bit more deep in the honors program like is it a financial thing like you have to do some credits abroad or something yeah it's like something extra you can sign up for and in the first year of your study you have an orientation course so you can see if you like it and then the following two years uh, you follow just like this extra program so you have extra courses I think last semester we did a course on building your own course so we designed a course with a group and uh, taught the course to first year students and a part of it is also like a component that you have to go abroad somewhere you have to do a project or something and, like to fulfill that component they also offer a trip every year and we have committees that plan the trip but also plan the orientation course and fun stuff yeah <laughs> and you were part of the committee planning this trip right Yes. yes. So you so you did the organizational stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so four of us. Yes. Yeah. There's there's almost no help from the university. <laughs> so yeah. it's just like you students planning out everything, like writing the emails and like saying, oh, how can we get there? Mm -hmm. Getting yeah. contact with the university and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of funny actually because the last two years, I think, because of the coronavirus pandemic, there had been no trips, mm -hmm. and usually the committee also has one senior member who has planned a trip before. But this year, because there were no trips and there were no senior members left it was just us <laughs> we have like two coordinators but they were also new so they didn't know anything as well so we were just trying to like google how do you book a bus <laughs> yeah but it worked out <laughs> yeah like you've been here like you made your way <laughs> mm -hmm. up here so you came by bus here mm -hmm, yes okay was it a and, nine hour drive i think yeah oh, yeah okay. I think it was our proudest accomplishment that we like booked a, a giant bus <laughs> and you drove like on the day or on the night mm, during the day yeah. Oh, okay mm -hmm. we left oh, early in the morning and then mm -hmm. late afternoon we arrived yeah <laughs> yeah it's 7 a.m 
and well at 7 30 because <laughs> there was one person late <laughs> and it was like the one teacher that came with us <laughs> <laughs> was half an hour late <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. Else was the time, so yeah, a bit of a delay, but we were still way earlier than we, th we thought we would be. Could you give us a brief overview about your schedule that you had here, like the academic stuff that was planned out for you, but also like a little bit of the free time you spent here? So we try to fill every day with the morning and a bit of the afternoon with a lecture because that's a compulsive part of the program. We have to plan these lectures because of the educational value of the, of the trip. We have ended up planning five lectures, I think, during three days. So quite full. It was a lot, yeah. <laughs> um, and also a symposium on Friday where everyone was presenting their own ideas and things they got from the lectures. And then in the afternoons, we try to do fun stuff. <laughs> so we went to mine out. How did you like it? It's really nice. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah I the love it. was great as well. So. The, the flowers, I think it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so great. And yeah. we went to um, what's it called? Mirensburg. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> like boats. Great, also great weather. So. We even swam in the lake once. So. Oh my yeah. gosh! In April, it wasn't cold. Yeah. <laughs> A bit, <laughs> yeah. yeah. When, when we're here, I want to be swim in the lake at least once. So this was my chance. <laughs> and we also had a lot of fun activities with the students of Constance. That sounds great. Like, yeah, we like a pub crawl, and we had pizza at a field where <laughs> students apparently <laughs> gather in the evenings often. <laughs> yeah, and we just we got tours of the university mm -hmm. and the city. Yeah, great. Did you plan your lectures with our teachers and professors here? Yeah, we we actually Serpil um, uh, brought us in contact with them mm -hmm. um, because we had sent them. Serpil, our theme for the trip it was uh, contemporary problems among youth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she picked some uh, lecturers that she thought were experts on the topic. And then we contacted them there ourselves. And then you like had contact with them, talked with them about like what stuff you want to have covered in the courses. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, they mainly came up with... Um, <laughs> well what they wanted to talk about mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> and we were like oh that sounds interesting so. yeah. <laughs> that's all right for us <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah we chose a pretty broad topic for a reason yeah. so we could fit like a lot of different subjects so how did you like those courses in general was there one that like stood out for you or something for me one that stood out was the um, one in the sports psychology lab we did some measurements of your grip strength it was very funny <laughs> and we experimented with measures um brain activity that was something i have never i'd never done before so yeah and at the same time we were having a workshop on motivational interviewing mm -hmm. it was also pretty interesting like i actually thought back about it <laughs> many times because a lot of the things i'm taking a course now in like talking to people in a, in a professional way and a lot of the things they say are also things mentioned in that workshop mm -hmm. so that was also pretty memorable yeah, yeah. I did an, a workshop about motivation interviewing before as well, and I really liked it. It's like just like another kind of therapy as well, like not the normal stuff you always learn. It's just like something different. And I kind of like that, that like you get a brighter view on therapy and like another kind of therapy that you learn. Yeah, it's very useful. Yeah. Is there anything special, interesting new that you've learned in those courses? Yeah, I think just maybe the whole thing about um, reaching your goals, mm -hmm. <laughs> how you can motivate people to do that and like guide them in a very structured way. Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. I'm not sure. Actually. <laughs> 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 I didn't do the, the motivational workshop. Ah, okay. so. And like in, in the lab with the, with the grip thing? Or? Well, it, I learned that you cannot... Um, hold your maximum grip for that long like it's one second and then it's gone <laughs> good to know good to know <laughs> yeah that's something interesting yeah i think the other lectures we had were there was also an interesting one about philosophy mm -hmm. oh, yeah. um and Moral one psychology i think yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that was really cool and um with also very interactive uh and one about eating disorder treatment yes for a specific kind of eating disorder and also one about the cl youth climate protests in Constance, which was also pretty interesting because um, a lot was told about the situation in Constance and we could compare it with our own experience. In the oh, that's great. That's great. 
you said before that you had like kind of a symposium or something in the end. I heard something about like presentations and posters that you did. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The assignment for the week was that you had to create a, a poster uh, and um, a statement about a, a controversial topic and then everyone could vote. And the poster was then about one of the topics of the lecture. So groups got divided per lecture and then, well, they had to come up with some kind of intervention or change in the system and then you know write that statement and everyone could vote and we had a discussions in the, at the end of the each presentation some students of constance actually joined to yeah. listen as well oh, that's that's great that's great <laughs> yeah. terrible brought in a bunch of students who had like studied at utrecht before or who were going to study at utrecht university so they could get to know us i think and like see a little bit of what we, what we do there so that was very fun they actually joined in on the discussions as well yeah it was very <laughs> interesting that's cool and like this poster presentation symposium thing is something you have to do to get your credits for the honors program is that correct mm, yeah yeah the educational value of the of the trip for us it was different because we organized the trip so we didn't have to do the assignment part we could actually <laughs> design the assignment as well and then we could just like judge their presentation <laughs> So yeah, but that's the assignment you have to do for the like educational part. Luckily, the people of Consens are very nice. So that's definitely an advantage of the university. Um, everyone really wanted to help us. And also the students that we had the activities with, they were so nice. They helped us so much. So that was really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, I like the, the building. It was like, it's so funny that you sometimes have to walk on top of roofs and stuff. It's, mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> True, yeah. It's so much less structured than, than here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's true. Our, our campus is more like industrial style or something. And yours is also more fun with like more colors and different, yeah. like the glass yeah. stained windows. And also the location is just really amazing. Like the, the way you so could have good. lunch and then... Uh, just like look over the lake. When we arrived, we went to a park where we got pizza <laughs> from Jana and, uh, and others. <laughs> and we drank beer mm -hmm. uh, and we played flunky ball. So <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yes. that's apparently an international sport. <laughs> it was also something we learned. Yeah, so that was really fun. And then the Oh, wait, it was the second. It was the same day that we actually got the city tour. Yeah, yeah, we just walked around for an hour, uh, getting some some explanation about the buildings and uh, mm -hmm. Constance in general. Yeah, and the history and the statues. And then I think the next day, or we got a university, or the day after, we got a university day, tour yeah. from some other students. So we saw the university and then did not remember the way, <laughs> even though they showed us. And then on Friday, we did a pop crawl with some other students. And I think a bunch of students from Constant, Constant joined in there because yeah. we mm -hmm. had a lot of different groups. We went to three pubs in the city. Yeah, it was also really fun. Yeah, that's great. So you've been able to like meet some locals here like some, mm -hmm. some students that do study here in Pakistan. that's true yeah yeah we yes. even took one local back home <laughs> he heard we were taking oh. the bus back to Utrecht so <laughs> he came along on the bus one last thing we did we went to a party by the law department in Berries I think Berries <laughs> probably Berries yeah, yeah I think yeah. the law students they always have their parties at Berries <laughs> yeah we were there as well <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun so <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 definitely. I think, definitely. <laughs> it's, I think... it's such a secret, like beautiful space, it's mm -hmm. a place. Like nobody has had heard of it before. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's kind of a surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's definitely a thing because like all of our students were happily surprised. I think because even me, I had we had looked at lots of pictures when we were picking mm -hmm. the destination, but I still hadn't expected that it would be like that beautiful because <laughs> it was so pretty in the whole old center and with the lake just really magical it was really beautiful yeah i think like the location is great the destination is great like also like where it is placed around like super close to switzerland but also austria so like you can travel somewhere else i heard that like some of you traveled to zurich is that correct mm, yeah i think we were planning to but then mm. eventually um they also joined us and we all went to mirensburg ah, okay mirensburg yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, 
I don't really know what my expectations were, but I think they were definitely fulfilled. <laughs> like, yeah, it yeah, was well, really above my expectations. Yeah. I mean, when you think of Germany, I don't, I don't, I mean, I think of cities like like Berlin or when you come in Constance, it's so not like it's almost Italian. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, so, <laughs> it's so not Berlin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it doesn't really seem German, like typically mm -hmm. German, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in that case my ex expectations were <laughs> not um, fulfilled <laughs> but that was <laughs> positive something positive yeah yeah <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, yeah it was just also because the weather was so great when we were there mm -hmm. but everyone was just so nice it was such a like calm atmosphere mm -hmm. yeah it was really nice have any of you been to germany before to another city or something mm, oh yeah definitely. yeah yeah to lots of cities but Mm -hmm. Never in that part of Germany. Always more uh, like closer to the Netherlands or the, the uh, big yeah. cities. Mm -hmm. And those are very different. Mm -hmm. Constance is more of like a small town. Yeah, yeah. I'm going in January. I'm going to uh, Chile. So I, I, I had already planned that before this trip, but I think it definitely sparked my enthusiasm a bit more and made, made me like less nervous to go. <laughs> yeah, this went so well and everyone was so nice. And I don't know if it's anything like that in Chile, but yeah, it's a, like a tiny taste of that experience, I think. It's a bit of an exchange atmosphere. I'm, I'm not planning to go abroad in, next year, but maybe in my master's um, it was definitely a great experience. So yeah, yeah. And I think I would definitely recommend Constance if people wanted to go to Germany for yeah. exchange. <laughs> a good one yeah yeah we had a bunch of we had two theme parties and one was glitter and the other one was elements <laughs> so i think glitter definitely summarized the experience you can make it like a metaphor like the glitter, glitter. of water mm. from yeah. the sun yeah, <laughs> yeah and like the glitter from the parties is there something special that stood out to you or that you would like recognize recognize first when you like look back or something the hill stood out to me i mean that was something like the university on a hill is so amazing like mm -hmm. <laughs> true yeah. yeah the view of the mountains and stuff, <laughs> that's just crazy for us and dutch people so yeah that was really cool yeah and i think yeah mostly because it was so sunny we were just like on sitting on grassy fields in the sun by the water and I think that's what I remember most. Is there like a main learning or something that you had here? I think we learned about a, a lot of different topics because of the different lectures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think just the, the different information from the lectures and then just mainly about the University of Constance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I learned a lot about that that I didn't know before. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to Chile in January, I think. Yeah, so I have one more semester here at Utrecht University, and then my last semester I'll be doing in Chile. I want to do a master's in either clinical psychology or cognitive neuroscience. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure yet, but um, <laughs> I'm preparing for those. So. Uh, me too, actually. Yeah, but I think I'm going to take a gap year too <laughs> after my <laughs> study abroad so I can travel and then also do cognitive neuroscience. I don't know. I, I guess I would just recommend Constance. And I'd also just like, like to say thank you again for everyone who helped us because yes. that was like the best part about Constance that everyone was so helpful and they helped us with things we didn't even know we needed help <laughs> for, you know, a lot of the time yeah, they would just offer. They helped us pick restaurants and yeah, everything. We could mm -hmm. ask out anything to them. So yeah. yeah, everyone was so nice and so helpful. So that was definitely the best part of the experience.